Well, Oxford University has just announced plans to recruit more than 10,000 people to test the effects of a potential vaccine being researched in the UK. And this comes as possible human trials of the vaccine here are set to begin in Canada. Our Tammy Sutherland has been following this story with more on when this research is expected to start. Tammy, everyone wants to know about a possible vaccine. Oh, yes. This is what everyone is waiting for, of course. Uh, the researchers at Dalhousie University in Halifax, they're going to be leading the charge. And they say that the human trials could begin in the coming weeks. They're just waiting for the potential vaccine to arrive here from China. And they're also waiting for the green light from the research ethics board. Once they get that, they can go ahead. Now, people have already started to come forward saying that they want to be part of this. They want to take part in these human trials. You have to be between 18 and 55 years old and generally good health. Dr. Joanne Langley, who is part of that Dalhousie team, she talks to us about what the early stages of research will look like. First of all, you start with healthy people. They're generally younger. Uh, you watch them super carefully, like they have multiple visits to our center during the first week or so, uh, we're making sure we're in touch with them. Are you still healthy? Any concerns? And uh, then as you may move to phase two, you're trying to find out the right, right dose, like the concentration of the vaccine. And you're trying to find out how many doses you need and if that differs between different populations. Now, there are some pretty big ifs here. If everything went well and phase two were to begin in July or August, Langley says that phase three could possibly begin in the fall, again, possibly. And that would mean that the vaccine would be made available to a broader number of Canadians, up to 100,000 Canadians here. But again, like we said, there are some big ifs. We have to see whether or not the vaccine will work in trials. And it, so it makes it really tough to predict exactly what the timeline will be. Mel, I'll send it back to you.